Welcome to Smart Deals. I hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to solve this lead code problem called converting PST to greater tree. You can find the link for the problem in the description. I recommend you pause the video here, go to the problem, read through the problem and come up with your solution. Okay, now let's see how we solve this problem. <clears throat> you have a binary search tree. What exactly is a binary search tree? A binary search tree is a tree, a binary tree in which all the nodes on the left side of every node should be less than the corresponding node and all the nodes on the right side of the current node should be greater than the current node. That is the basic pr uh, principle behind a binary search tree. How do we solve this problem exactly. <clears throat> In the problem statement, it is given that you have to find for every node, you have to find the sum of all the elements which are greater than the current node and put that value in the value of the current node. <clears throat> Whatever the sum you get, you have to put it in the value of the current node. So you have, let's take eight. This node, what are all the nodes which are greater than the current node? Just eight, right? Um, so we'll put eight in the current node. Similarly, if you take four, what are all the nodes which are greater than four? You have six, five, seven, and eight. So some of this will give me 30. You'll put 30 in the root node in place of four. That is the basic idea behind this problem. Now, how do we solve this? To solve this problem, we are going to use the property of a binary search tree, which is in order of a binary search tree is going to be sorted. Now, if I write the in order for this binary search tree, what will I get? I'll get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. If you look at this, the in order for the binary search tree is sorted. Now, since I want the greater elements, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the in order in reverse or get the reverse in order. So reverse in order will be nothing but eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Now, how do I get the reverse in order for this? For in order, you will first do left, then you'll do, uh, you'll print the data and then you'll do right. For reverse in order, you simply have to first go to right side, then print data and then go to left side. That is the only difference between in order and reverse in order. Now, how do I use this reverse in order for to solve this problem? To do that, I'm going to take a sum variable, which will be initially zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to traverse element by element on this reverse in order and add the each element to the sum. So what will happen initially sum is going to be zero. Now um, let's start with the first element, which will be eight. I'm going to add eight to the sum. And then I'm going to change uh, the value of eight to whatever the sum is. Then I'll go to the next element, which will be this seven. Now I'm going to add seven to my sum, which will make it 15. And I'm going to replace 15 with, sorry, replace seven with 15. Then my next element is six. I'm going to add six, which will make it 21. And then I'm going to replace this six with 21. My next element is five. I'm going to add five, which will make it 26. And if I add five over here, uh, in, in place of five, I should make it 26. And I'll continue to do this on all the elements or all the nodes. How do we write the code for this? The code for this is going to be similar to in order, but in reverse. So you will have a reverse in order function, which will get <clears throat> the 
you'll get the root as a parameter for this. The return type is going to be void because you're replacing the value of each node. You're not returning anything, you're replacing. So return type should be void. Now what should I do? So since this is a reverse in order, so I'm going to call reverse in order on root dot write first. Then I'm going to process the data. What am I doing when I'm processing? I'm going to add the current root value to sum. So sum plus is equals to root dot value. Then next I should replace the root dot value with sum. So I'll get root dot value as sum. Next, I'll have to do the same thing on the right side. Right side is already done. So I have to do the same thing on the left side. So I should do reverse in order on root dot left. <clears throat> this is the main logic for your code. Now, since this is a recursive function, every recursive function should have a base condition. What will be the base condition for this? It's the regular base condition for any in order. If root dot, if root is equals to null, you'll simply return. So this is the basic code to do this problem. Let's try to code it up and see if it gets accepted. So first we have to write the reverse in order function. So I have void um, reverse in order, which will take the node uh, root. So let's try to write the main logic first. First I have to perform the reverse in order on root dot uh, write. Then I will do sum plus is equals to root dot uh, value. But now I should also declare a global sum variable. So int sum is equals to zero. And then I will do um, root dot value is equals to sum. Then I will do the same thing on the left side. So reverse in order on root dot uh, left. This will be our main logic base condition. If root equals to null, simply return. This will be our main logic and base condition. So what should we do in the actual convert BST function? I should simply call the reverse in order function on the root and then I can simply return the root. Let's run this code. <clears throat> it got accepted with the sample test cases. Now let's submit. And it's done. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.